look happy. I am, now that we understand the potential of spyrites. And it's all because Jude wouldn't give up. I'm all like, yeah, take that, world. Jude can really do great things when he tries. I always knew that he could. <laughs> They're just as happy with his success as if it were their own. I completely understand their sentiment, though. Jude had never been the type to lead the way. But this time, he chose a path and followed it through. It's always good to see positive growth. I wonder whose influence that was. One thing's for sure, it certainly wasn't yours. Oh? Haven't you ever heard of reverse psychology? Teaching by bad example? At least your humility makes a fine example. It's good to see everyone upbeat for a change. Yes! The hill where Balin found us was just past Helioborg Fortress. Let's take a look. Maybe we'll find a clue that will help us get back. Olympias doesn't seem to be any greener out this way. Nope. Pretty much everywhere outside the cities is like this. If anything, it's a little worse than I remember it. The lack of spirits must have broken the cycle of nature. To the people of Olympias, this is what nature looks like. When I first laid eyes on the forests of Rizamaxia, I could barely comprehend what I was seeing. So this is the world that Spyrix has given you. Go ahead and say it. We brought this on ourselves. That may be true, but still... Look! Something green for once! Yeah, but I wouldn't expect to see a big forest anytime soon. Dark spaces always get me a little spooked. Let me make sure I have this straight. We use boosters to infuse spirit fossils with mana, and then a spyrite is born. Because unlike Spyrix devices, spyrites can use arts without harming spirits. Did you actually take notes while Balin was talking? Yes, but there are still things I don't understand. If there are things you actually do understand, then you're way ahead of me. I bet Tipo'd say, Hey, you need to study, Leia! Ah, but after that, he'd probably say, I don't understand any of this either. <laughs> probably. Hey, no Tipo impersonations! Ah, he heard us! You're both being rude! Elise, do you understand spyrite theory? Of... of course I do.
My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. Good performance, but terrible fuel efficiency. He said he found us sprawled at the foot of this hill. Let's look for a path down. must have fallen from there to the bottom of the cliff. Isn't the rift a little small? My guess is it's about to collapse. Jumping back through would be a leap of faith. Count me out! It looks too dangerous! Let's head back to town and figure out another way. Hey, everyone. If you plan on returning to Risa Maxia, and I think it's time we parted ways. What? What makes you say that all of a sudden? I know that we pulled off a successful spyrite tethering together, and we found out some great news. But I'm afraid the only way to stop Gaius at this point is to fight him. I don't want the way you feel now to get in the way of your true feelings. I agree. If we can't be honest with ourselves about why we're fighting, then there's no point in fighting in the first place. In other words, you want us to make our own decision. It'll be a difficult ride ahead. I guess it only makes sense. <sighs> Mind if I have some more time to think? At least until you're all ready to leave? Sure, of course. Don't let your current emotions get in the way. <laughs> I'm almost acting human. Mila? Sorry, it's nothing.
Wait, isn't this... There's no way replacing everything Spyrix with Spyrites is gonna be easy as it sounds. In terms of raw numbers, just think of how many Spyrites we'll need. It's true. The Spyrites need to be researched, created, distributed. It won't happen overnight. There is much that needs to be done. But if we can't buy more time, the spirits will go extinct. I will buy us time. Maxwell said it himself. If we remove the schism, the mana that it contains could sustain Olympias for a considerable amount of time. And that's what you intend to do? Yes, it is. It's a long road ahead for all of us. But the more pressing problem is Gaius. If we can't stop him, it'll be too late for Olympias. Yeah.
You're so slow, Leia. Climb faster. What? Am I holding up the guy who can float?
It's getting darker. Everyone, listen up for signs of enemy movement. Watch out, everyone. It looks way tougher than the others. 
course it is. You wouldn't find it around here otherwise. Nothing ever seems to phase her. She's not the only one. You're quite calm and composed yourself, Alvin. Fair enough. Thanks! Your switch! Farewell! Shields of the mighty car through the wicked. Shields of the mighty car through the wicked.
I don't understand. The spirit fossil came off. How is she able to continue walking? find a way to push the Otherworld reactor plan forward. Were you involved in the plan's creation? Hmm? And who might you all be? Oh, we're from Riza, Max. I'm a relative of Gilland Yul's event. I was hoping you could educate this group about the Otherworld reactor plan. You're with Gilland? Oh, I apologize for my rudeness. I work at the Department of Otherworld Affairs. I figured it'd go smoother this way. I presume your department deals with issues related to Risa Maxia? Correct. As you're no doubt aware, we Olympians have passed down legends of another world since antiquity. Every kid knows the story of the spirit Maxwell and the utopia he created for his followers, Risa Maxia. But from around the time I was born, scholars and politicians started taking that story seriously. Correct. That was because we detected an unusual distortion in space. Our research suggested that vast amounts of energy could be circulating beyond the distortion. That discovery led to the creation of the Department of Otherworld Affairs' predecessor, the Next Gen Energy Bureau. They developed equipment to widen the distortion and study what was on the other side. Things were going well at first. Then the equipment went haywire, and a passenger ship near the experimental site, the ESS Anethra, disappeared without a trace. The incident 20 years ago. Everyone thought the experiment had failed but it hadn't. Several years later, we received a transmission straight from Gilland. He told us that he and the Zenithra had been sucked into the other world, and that he had since created a device that could punch a hole through the spatial distortion. And that he found a solution to Olympias's energy problems to boot. That's right. His plan was to use the energy circulating throughout this other world as a reactor. So what will happen to the people on that world? Are you with the anti-governmentalists? Right now, the opposition party is using the issue of Otherworld people's rights as a shield to try and block the Otherworld reactor plan. Yet they have no alternative solution for our energy problem. Olympias has long since passed the point where we can solve our problems with idealistic jargon. So you supported the Otherworld reactor plan fully aware of the consequences? You're damn right I did. And I continue to support it wholeheartedly. Forget it, Mila. There's no point in trying to change his mind. I know. My duty remains unchanged. Do everything I can to stop the plan from succeeding. <laughs> 